Well, hey everybody, we're going out. We're gonna head out on the lake today, see what happens. I would say that, right? See what happens? Yeah. Uh, man, they, uh, they're doing road work on this road. And it's like, it's a little bumpy. I don't know. It's bumpier than adolescence. You know it? Yeah, I like how they, <laughs> how they graded it all off and then they just shut down. Yeah, well, there's a lot of things that are shutting down right now. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. This coronavirus stuff, man. I'm usually not opinionated, but this is just borderline insanity. You know, it is just crazy what's going on these days. But the best social distance you can have is um, being on a boat. I read a post yesterday on Facebook where somebody was saying, well, they need to shut down the boat ramps and not let the people, you know, on the lake. And I'm thinking, are you an idiot? I mean, the best social distance is being on a boat. I mean, ain't nobody can get near you. I guess they're afraid, afraid they're gonna give the fish the corona. Yeah, whatever, I, I, it's just silly. Some of the things people were saying, I, I, I've just had to get off of Facebook and just not even pay any attention to it. <clears throat> I mean... It's the, all doom and gloom. It's anyway. all doom and gloom and fear. And, you know, half the people don't even realize half the crap they're saying. You know? So... I like the ones that preach to everybody and then they go to the store and then they're just... They grab stuff off they're the shelf. They're freaking out. Yeah, they're freaking out. They grab out. stuff off the shelf, and then they put it back. Well, anyway, enough of that. But, uh, anyway, we're heading out today. First Priest Lake. We're going to try to uh, get some fish today, hopefully. The right species. You know what I mean? So. Well, it'll be beautiful out. It won't matter what happens. Whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. Well, I, I'm just saying, you know. But I mean, it should, it should get, be getting better every day. This week, you know, we're gonna have warmer weather. Anyway. All right, guys, enough boring talk. Boring talk. We're gonna get going here and uh we'll talk to you here in a little bit hopefully hopefully we can get on pretty quick today and get a few catches for you guys so anyway uh we'll talk to you here in a little bit see you later Yes. <laughs> First cast, guys. <laughs> First cast.
Man, he wanted that. Holy cow. Yeah. <coughs> um, Jeff, hand me them. Uh, yeah, he hit it right he's the last. skinny, ain't he? Right the last minute, he hit it, and I tell you what, he got her pretty good because I can't hardly get her out of there. Give me those needle nose ones. When I caught it, I was in, we was in three foot old. You got one? Another one of them guys. Them stripers or white bass. One or two. Yeah. Where's them? Uh, well, they're up in the shallows. Definitely. Open your mouth. Yeah, I know. That it's tough, man. Where's the clip clippers? There you go. Man, I mean they're working out here big time. Look at him, Jeff. Wow. wow. You know it'd be good? Is a MR6. There's another one of them things. Easy, you watch the camera. Yeah, we. Hold on. So Lloyd, I'd have to order it. Got another one. <laughs> okay. Bye. Another one, guys. Oh, he, he's a bigger one. If he's 15 inches, huh? Hey, see, inches. this has got one. One. It's old. got one two. It's got one two. So That's a white bass, I believe. Yeah, he's got one tooth, I think. See what you think. That's a white bass. 
Here, hang on. Anyway, guys, there it is. Real, man. See, it's got one line all the way to the tail. Yeah, that that looks like a white bass. And Throw it, him in there. And it's got Can here. Me, feel, feel his tooth. Make sure. I think it's one tooth. No, he's got two teeth. Oh, does he? All right, throw him back in. Hurry up, though. Them, them can't be out of the water very long. Oh, jeez, whatever that is, it's big. Oh, that's fast. Cool. It's a small mount. That is a nice small mount, man. He might be 18. Where's the pliers? Here. See, that's why I wanted to come up here. What did I say when we left? Yeah. Go up there where the small mouth are. Yeah, measure him, make sure he's 18. Yeah, he's 18. Huh? He's 18. Wade. All you gotta do is Press the power button. Two point two nine. Should we put it in a box? Ah, uh, that's up to you. It, it's a small mouth. I kind of like to throw those back, especially when they're that big. Hi, oh, hey everybody. We fished for a little about a little while. Well, actually, all morning. What is it? Quarter after twelve. So we come back to the boat ramp because Jeff's got a guy uh, bringing a boat that Jeff's trying to sell. So they're going to test it out. Hopefully, get it sold. But anyway, the reason I wanted to shoot a short little video here is some doofus. Parked a houseboat up here, and it's been there evidently for 24 to 48 hours. Some guy said three days. And now, okay. and now it's sinking. So uh, it's pretty crazy, man. Um, let me see if I can try to show you. I don't know if I can get this camera to switch to the other camera. Eh, it's not one to. Um, but anyway, here, I could probably do it this way. Yeah. So check it out. Look at that craziness. Is that not stupid or what? So yeah, they just, they just beached it. Right at a main boat ramp where all the fishermen put their boats in. 
Yeah, there's a lot of pleasure boaters, but a lot of the fishermen put their boats in there. Right so, there's a lot of people I don't think are very happy about this. So, anyway, uh, I tell you what, and a lot of people will tell you this, but you see the craziest stuff at boat ramps. It's like, it's like the absolute morons show up at the boat ramps. <laughs> morons with no neurons. Mo yeah, morons with no neurons, man. Uh, they're lost like last year's Easter egg. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. That is gone. Yeah, man. It's just ridiculous. Well, anyway, I wanted to share that. There's everybody practicing social distancing. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to get back out there, and uh, I haven't caught anything other than stupid hybrid bass, so. There's, there's the dude. Anyway. All right, we'll talk at you guys later. We'll see you. Got one. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Come here. Come here. Oh, I lost him. Dang it. Well, hey, everybody. Here's the skivvy. I guess that's what they call it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the news. The skivvy. Well, I didn't have a... I didn't do worth of crap today, to be honest. Uh, the only keeper, largemouth, and I lost him at the boat. Uh, Jeff did manage to catch three-pound smallmouth. And then, of course, we caught those hybrid bass, but I don't even count them. But, man, you talk about boats on the water. It was incredible today. I guess everybody's tired of being holed up because of this coronavirus. So they decided everybody in town decided to go to the freaking lake. So I, I guess I feel fortunate that I even got a bite with all the pressure on the lake. But um, he was, I got him all the way to the boat. He was, I'd say he was at least 17 inches long, about a three pounder. Um, and that was on a square bill crankbait. And then Jeff's smallmouth was on a square bill crankbait too. So anyway, uh, get, get him next time. That's all you can do, you know? So, uh, I guess uh, that's it for this video, and hopefully the next one will be much better. But uh, Jeff's packing up. I think his back's killing him. So, uh, hope you liked the video. Subscribe to my channel, and I guess we'll talk to you later. See you guys.